Hi, this is part 6 in a series of videos documenting the rebuild of my 944 engine. In this video, I will be replacing the gaskets on my oil cooler and installing a new water pump. Welcome to 944 Restore. I have an early 944 and the workshop manual recommends upgrading to the newer style oil cooler housing. They look almost identical, but the newer oil cooler does not have the raised lip. The gasket kit has a plastic washer to make up for this. The first step is to remove the old O-rings and install the new ones. Lightly oil the new O-rings before installing. If using the new style housing, add the plastic washer. Place the oil cooler in the housing and press it in. Next, lay a straight edge across the housing and measure the gap. The goal here is to be less than 0.1 inches. If it's more than that, you need to add some of the provided shims. There is one final O-ring in the gasket kit. The oil cooler can now be installed to the engine block. This requires a bit of force to seat the O-rings. Before tightening down any bolts, the housing must be properly aligned for the OPRV valve. Insert the special tool and then start threading in the bolts. The tool had a tendency to bind unless I very slowly tightened the bolts crosswise. Torque the bolts down and verify the tool can be removed easily. My oil pressure relief valve is the old three-piece kind. Assemble the three pieces, adding a new crush washer and torque down the bolt. Finally install the oil cooler heat shield and torque down the two bolts. I am installing a new thermostat. It's important that the thermostat opening temperature is correct for the radiator fan switch being used. This thermostat is rated for 83 degrees and my radiator fan switch range is 87 to 92. I tested this thermostat, and even though it's rated for 83 degrees, I found that it didn't open until about 88 degrees. I am going to swap this thermostat out with a genuine Porsche one. When installing, there are a variety of O-rings and a lock ring. The goal is to find an O-ring so that the thermostat is snug when the lock ring is installed. The water pump I removed from this engine was the old style without the post for the belt guide. I purchased the guide and installing it now. I realized later when putting on the belts that this guide prevents the belts from being installed so I had to remove it, install the belts, and then put the belt guide back on. Lesson learned. Add Loctite to the threads and torque the nuts.
The water pump should come with a paper gasket. Place that over the studs followed by the water pump. Thread on all the numerous bolts and nuts. Torque in a crosswise pattern. I could have done a better job at that. There is a wire harness bracket that goes here, which I almost forgot. That wraps up the 944 engine cooling system components. Hit the subscribe button to get alerted when the next part in this series drops. Thanks for watching. Next in this series, I will be installing the head in the camshaft assembly.